fellow junk lovers, stuff collectors, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie, and I love stuff. And in today's video, I'm going to show you some footage from a doll show that I attended recently. And then I'm going to show you all the dolls that I bought. So the first thing that I thought was really cool at this doll show was they had all these door prizes that they were giving away and then they had these displays of G.I. Joe dolls which I thought was a pretty interesting way to start a doll show and I gotta be honest the main reason why I wanted to go was because I like looking at the vintage Barbie dolls I really love finding the 90's era hot pink boxes that's the era of Barbie doll that I played with as a kid. So those are the ones that are most familiar to me. And I love seeing the classics in their original boxes. That's the real reason why I had to go to this doll show. I'm not much into baby dolls and things like that. I never have been, even as a kid. I find some of the realistic dolls to be kind of creepy if I'm being honest but I like the fashion dolls I like Barbie um, I'm trying not to get into Monster High dolls but it's so tempting because there's so many really cool ones I do like seeing the American Girl dolls I did always want one of those as a kid but I never got one so it's fun seeing the things that you never had and might never get to get but at least you get to look at them I think doll shows can be a lot of fun I did drag my husband along and I think he was actually surprised how much he actually enjoyed just looking at the old toys and I did end up buying quite a few things while I was there I bought some Barbie dolls I did end up buying quite a few Monster High dolls that were just really great deals. And of all things, I ended up coming away from this doll show with a lot of My Little Ponies as well. There was a booth that had a lot of toys and not just dolls. And when I see toys, I go crazy and I buy a lot of them. So it's hard for me to not. Uh, this booth was really cool. This lady made a lot of one-of-a-kind dolls. She had painted Barbie dolls and turned them into different characters. It was very interesting. There were so many things. There's some of the original American Girl dolls. Samantha over there. I like going to things like this just to look around. I like flea markets and stuff, so... I haven't been to a doll show since I was in the third grade, so I really wanted to go again. This is the booth where I spent most of my money. There was so many cool toys in this booth. It was, it was crazy. Um, I ended up stopping filming because I had to go through all these toys and figure out what I wanted to buy, and I ended up buying a lot. You see right there, all that Monster High stuff. I bought almost all of that. Uh, yeah, it was it was a whole lot of fun guys. So let me show you what I bought while I was there Okay guys, so I might have went a little overboard because the prices at this doll show were actually really good There wasn't as many booths as I expected But there was just a few that had a lot of dolls that I was interested in for really great prices so I'm gonna show you some of the things I picked up because I bought a lot more but I don't want to take all day with this, so I'm just going to show you the Barbie dolls that I bought. I did also buy some Monster High dolls and some vintage My Little Ponies, things I did not expect to find at the doll show, but I'm just going to show you the Barbies that I bought for now. First we have Radiant and Red Midge, still in the box, a little dirty, but I think I can clean her up and make it look nice and be able to see it again. This was only $5. I could not say no to that price. Also $5, I bought this Kool-Aid Wacky Warehouse Barbie. I kind of want to open it up and let her out. Uh, maybe I'll make a video doing that because I just, I can't stand not getting to see what she looks like. So I feel like I need to open that one. 
Uh, this one is FAO Swartz Shopping Spree Barbie. This was also $5. And I just, this reminds me of me. She loves shopping. I love shopping. It's me as a Barbie doll. Only I'm not blonde. I also got Baywatch Barbie with the dolphin for $5. And I already had this one in my personal collection opened. But the lady was like, you don't want this one too for $5? Because it was the only other $5 doll she had. And I was like, you know what? I'll take it. Why not? Um, it's still really cool to see the 90s Barbies in boxes. And I was getting such a great, great deal on this last doll that I wanted to make sure I made that lady happy. Because those were five a piece. And this Midge doll was only $25. And if you know anything about Barbie dolls, this is a pretty hard one to find. And I was really excited to see this one. It's got that classic 80s looking midge with the big earrings. Uh, I think this one is from the 90s, but it's just got that vintage face to it. 93. So yeah, early 90s. Uh, I love it. Her suit is amazing. Everything about this is amazing. Only $25. I could not leave that behind. And then the open dolls, I went to a couple different tables where they had $2 dolls. Um, one, they just had Barbies. I got this Wave 1 Summer Fashionista doll. She is really pretty. Her dress is, I don't know, it's got this cute little cat on it. But her boots, her boots are the most amazing thing. These brown boots and they've got hearts all the way up them. They're amazing. And then I just got this one just because she's a 90s Barbie. She's wearing a 90s neon outfit, so I couldn't resist. I'm not sure which doll she is yet, but she's 90s, so for $2, I figured I should get that one. Uh, this is, uh, what do you call it? Oh no! Ooh, this is the cut and style Barbie, the red hair version. Uh, her head is broken, the, the piece that connects her neck and her head, but I mean, if you are just going to display them, you can kind of shift it up and not really tell, even though when I got her, her head was smushed on, it kind of makes them not quite look right, but you can make it work. For $2, I was definitely willing to pay that to get this Barbie, just her outfit, her hair, I mean, she's beautiful. And then I went to another booth and they had $2 dolls and it was just a basket full of Ken dolls. So I just got a whole lot of Ken dolls because they were $2 a piece. So why not, right? Uh, <laughs> I couldn't resist. So yeah, I bought a lot of dolls. I got some really good deals. I was really surprised at the prices and I was surprised at how few people were there, but I still came out winning from going there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe to see more Barbie doll content. And until next time, guys, bye.